This is Jonathan Apache. Jonathan Apache. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jonathan Apache for Emblem News. Terrible scenes this morning. Prince Philip, Prince, the People's Prince, has died tragically in agony. Therefore, it's going to be a special version of Yaris time. Our sympathies are with the Queen and, of course, the Queen's children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, and everybody's favourite, Prince Andrew, the people's he's now taken over as the people's prince tragic scenes here in great britain where the nation has done a collective whoopsie it's done big poopers in its pants this is tragic scenes we have not seen the likes of for some years. Absolutely desperate scenes. And we're all watching now as the Yaris takes Prince Philip's coffin, his golden coffin there, down a journey through a tunnel, as is tradition with the royal family. It is literally the worst day of my life, reporting for Emblem News. I'm Jonathan Apache, handing over to Ted the Voice Tritton. Thank you, and good night, sweet prince. Ted the Voice Tritton here, ready to take this baby for a drive in memoriam. For Mr. Prince Philip, Duchess of Bismarck, the head honcho of the royal family. This is Ted the Voice Trison. Sunset and evening star. And one clear call for me. And may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. But such a tide as moving seems asleep to full for sound and foam. When that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again. Home, twilight and evening bell, and after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear 
me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Prince Philip, of course, the Titan, the Adonis, the Renaissance man of the royal family. And that was for him, Alfred Tennyson, the Lord. Mr. Lord, they used to call him. And we're going to take this Yaris for a drive. A celebratory plowmans for the prince today. Maybe a few plowmans and a few pints of... Uh, of Double Diamond, his his preferred drink. I was a little bit afraid I couldn't seem to get out of the menu. It would have been bad to have technical complications. Fortunately, smooth sailing. For this, a day of mourning, really should should have painted the Yaris black for the prince. I've not. Uh, we're going for the red, red, which of course symbolizes blood. And my word, he had some fine blood in him, that boy. No disrespect, of course, to the prince by calling him a boy. Now, I don't know what uh, would be more appropriate for the prince to celebrate his wonderful life. I think somewhere in Britain. Are there so any, any in Britain? No, it's PC Gone Bongo. There's no British tracks to race around. Oh, there is. We'll go for this one. The Brit. The Brit Blazer, I call this one. For Dawn, I think. Not the Mazda. That's a crap car. It's got to be the Yaris, of course. It's Yaris time with Ted. I'm going to be handing over, I think, a bit later to Jonathan, of Jonathan Apache for Emblem. He might do a bit more news later, but for now, we're going to be taking this baby round the track for the prince. We might be getting a few more Tennyson poems, I think. Some beautiful, beautiful poems. Oh, I like crossing the bar by, of course, Tennyson. He, he's my favourite poet. We'll probably get more from him. And Kipling, of course. The colonialist poet. Who I imagine liked to plowman's. He used to like getting his lips around a little pork pie. With a pickled onion helmet. slipping out and you may go Ted sounding very animated today that is simply because I am reeling uh, with emotion British men of course unable to emote in a way that is an anger or muted frustration but when a royal dies, that's a suitable place to emote. And what emotion! Tears in the eyes of me, Ted Triton. For the beautiful prince, who I would imagine is going to be rebirthed as a child today. That's how... 
reincarnation works. What it what a thrill it would be to win this race. Don't know why it's so slippy. There's an Irishman up in front. The prince would have not cared for that. Won't make comments that were inappropriate on the stream about his I'm just not gonna get I'm not gonna go there I'll just I'll just shut up and let the plowmans do the speaking don't know why there's some sort of automatic break what a loser Nick Ferrari there, spinning out. We've got two British racers up in front. Also in mourning. Can hardly see because of the tears in my eyes. Oh shit! Oh. Appropriately gloomy weather in Britain today. Very respectful. That's what he would have wanted. It's easy to imagine the prince up in heaven looking down upon us today. Impressed by our morning. Incredibly reverent morning from us in Emblem Digital, the Prince's Choice. Of course, I have no confirmation that the Prince ever listened to my program, but it seems natural that he would have appreciated my work. Very easy to imagine the Prince enjoying us. Tasty ploughman's lunch with a sorry beer such as an Eaton Wicket. Seems highly likely that that would have happened. Because, my word, he liked his British foods. Ploughman's being exemplary, it's, well, it's obviously one of the best of the British cuisines. People say. Do you want to go for a curry? I say, make it a plowman's. I prefer a pl plowman's, I'll be honest. Maximum respect to Mr. Prince Philip. We won that race for you, baby. And please excuse me when I call you baby. I hope that's appropriate. Money in the bank for Team Yaris. Despite the fact that I felt like I drove in a disrespectful way, I could have raced better than that. Of course, this is Yaris time, so we, we're not going to stray from the Yaris. But maybe we can have a little look. Some British racing sensations. Scapes. Must be short for uh, landscapes, I should think. How do I go? How do I buy cars? I wonder. I can't remember how to buy the cars. Therefore, it looks like we're not getting a, another one. 
change driving gear. Perhaps a respectful Union flag helmet. What the hell? Is there any difference between these two helmets? One's a GT. One's a GT helmet. And it's today I consider look at that lovely lovely pose it's today that I consider Prince Philip's helmet what a helmet that must have been of course Prince Philip capable of that's not what I wanted All these foreign cars. We'll stick with the Great British Yaris, thank you very much. I think this is where you buy the cars. Britain, the best of the countries, the envy of the world. Of course, Lewis Hamilton. Fine racer such as Lewis Hamilton. I was going to say McFlurry. I meant Mc McLaren, of course. I just, for some reason, I had McFlurry on the, br the brain. Uh, I have been known after a plowman's and a pint to pop to McDonald's. Um, get myself a McFlurry. before, uh, I don't know, hit, hitting a gentleman's club. Maybe boodles. Maybe something a bit racier like red rooms. I like to go there with my QC friend. That vision. Jaguar vision. The Jaguar museum. And that is, of course, Steve Martin, the comedian, American comedian. And we all remember when Dracula was published by the Irish novelist Bram Stoker. And a lot of people have been comparing Dracula fine work of literature to Prince Philip uh, unkindly disrespectfully and these people are going to pay for their actions let's just put it that way despicable behavior and you're saying you just you're just time stalling get get racing again I will, in my own good time. We need to respect the Prince on today. Today of all days. I do like this music, very respectful music. Prince Philip famously hated the French, of course. Um, However, we're going to go on a French course to show the French what Britain is made of. Now hear this rev. When this starts revving, it starts to get a little tasty. Of course, people are saying a lot of things about the Prince. They're saying, he's no nonsense. He was no nonsense. And you get people on the hard lap saying, that's just a euphemism for unpleasantly racist. I mean, racist is 
is obviously a negative term anyway, unpleasantly so, to a degree that is so overt, it's shocking. Um, disagree with that, I think he is simply no nonsense. He had not a nonsense body in him, uh, sorry, not a nonsense bone in him, in his body. Got a little bit confused being on the uh, Eton wickets this morning. Piss off. The all black car, like Knight Rider, coming up behind me there. Oh. That was not good. That was not respectful of, of uh, the big man. Something terribly wrong, I think. These idiots have maybe done something to my vehicle. Tanaka coming up behind me there for Japan. Sorry, mate. I gotta go. I've got a race. I've got a race to win. Sorry, I really have become oddly slurry. It's because I've been drinking the pints, as I've already said. Nice cottage there. Can imagine spending the weekend with one of my friends. Completely heterosexual relationship I have with Kelvin Knox. Uh, we hanging out, ha having a few pints. No hanky panky. Um, not any sort of romantic feeling behind it. It's just uh, two men bonding in a way that is uh, natural, organic, sharing a few few sorry pints, maybe a couple of plowmans. Plowman's lunch. Of course, uh, Call it a plowman's lunchbox. It's not what you think it is. It's not some sort of sexual term for a man's uh, genital area. Plowman's lunchbox. It's perfectly, uh, as I say, perfectly uh, ab above order. No hanky panky going on at this Surrey. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Devonshire. Devonshire uh, beach house of mine. Well, we've just popped down to celebrate the prince and his life together in a way that is uh, befitting. Definitely no romantic horseplay. Um, maybe some light fencing uh, in the way that I would do with uh, anybody regardless of uh, romantic feeling perfectly above board um, this isn't an Adam Warity situation it's perfectly uh, harmless fun uh, in celebration, a memoriam of the great prince who uh, would have perfectly understood my relationship with Kelvin Knox. Um, people are calling it platonic, which is correct. Um, perfectly above Nothing, nothing sexual, certainly not sexual, just fun. Couple of, you, get, you know, couple of men in my Devonshire beach house. Maybe with our tops off. Um, having a, a good sorry pint. I think it would be uh, sinister if that... Uh, 
we didn't take our tops off, frankly. Um, maybe, yeah, we, may, maybe we would have dressing gowns on with our initials. TT. Ted. Ted Tritton, Kelvin Knox. TTKK. You can argue with great names like that. Of course, the press having a field day with all sorts of accusations, suggestions. Emblem Digital DJ's saucy romp said one paper um, displaying some completely legitimate non-sexual photos taken with a lens far away completely above board of course um, by the book is how this friendship of ours has developed certainly uh, as I say by the book I've got the book I've perused the pages of the book and you know what our relationship follows the book uh, religiously. Of course, when you become an Emblem Digital DJ, you must take the oath that uh, guarantees um, everything's above board by the book. See you later, Putain. Can't read without crashing the car, if that's your name. That's what I meant, and if it isn't... It's not my problem. Can't remember where this is. France, I think. Is this in France? I think it's a fr it is, it's a French course, of course, because the Prince hates the French. Little bit of uh, jokey banter between us and the French. See you later, mate. You don't like the banter. You can't handle the banter. Get out of the banter zone. And I'll tell you what, I, me and Knox were in the banter zone the other day. And my word, some of the banter that was flying about was pretty raw. Uh, perfectly above board, of course. There was no sexual um, banter. It wasn't sexual banter. It was more friendly banter. Um, the, the kind exchange between, say, Andrew Neil and Andrew Marr, the two warriors of BBC, formerly of BBC. Um, sort of, sort of fun they might have. You know, they'll get my get up to a little bit of horseplay. I've got the horseplay. Um, completely by the book. It's a sort of relationship I've also got going with KK, as we uh, sometimes call him. You know, and uh, pu public nudity, maybe a, um, you know, might go first a little dip in the pool on the back of the uh, beach house and you know what it would I, I think it's cowardly sometimes to wear clothes in a private pool um, and when you're in good company why not there's nothing it's by the book by the book above board whatever you want to call it a legitimate relationship me and Mr. Knox have, Professor Knox. Um, why not, eh? Why not men of our age who have given so much... Well, I've fucked it now. I've fucked it on that bend by 
having to explain this relationship, which as I say is above board, completely fine and indeed in celebration of the wonderful um, Prince Philip. Can't two men express themselves in a way that implies reverence to the to the prince? I like to think of him as a king, quite frankly. Um, without these accusations flying that there's some sort of hanky-panky at play. Well, I really managed to kind of get it back there. Quite amazingly, um, second, not, not ideal, but I'll take it. I'll take a number two spot. Certainly I will, of course. Just noticed there, um, got a little retweet. There's no, nobody in the chat, but got a little saucy retweet uh, from Prince Philip Respector. Very nice account there. Um, biggest, uh, well, it's, it's the mo I would say the chief um, Prince Philip account operating on Twitter. Got a little saucy retweet. It's all uh, all Prince Philip related stuff, which is look at that in memory of the P Dog. But some people are calling him the P Dog. Um, some people are calling him the King. A lot of names flying about is what I'm trying to say. Um, a delightful man. I see the Guardian have gone with standing behind his wife. Philip defined a different kind of masculine ideal. That's, of course, Gabby Hinsliff. Um, I generally disagree with the Guardian, um, but okay. I think when push comes to the shove, um, when, when push comes to shove, that's the expression, um, I think they do great work. Great work that um, disables the hard left and ensures um, Tory annihilation. Um, and by that I mean the Tories annihilating the competition. That's what we like to see. We like to see one party propaganda state um, that believes in great things like Prince Philip and bold ideas such as one party propaganda state uh, you know what I think I might do a little bit more um, a bit more reading of, of uh, some Tennyson I think we need some Tennyson now I'll crack open a tenant Scottish lager um, generally not a lager man but if it's from the UK, if it's from Great Britain, I'm happy to indulge. Tennyson, um, Memoriam, I think. Memoriam. To, of course, In Memoriam, A-H-H. Uh, could have been written for the Great Prince, this one. It's a delightful poem. Strong son of God, immortal love, whom we... That have not seen thy face, by faith and faith alone embrace, believing where we cannot prove. Thine are these orbs of light and shade. Thou madest life in man and brute. Excuse me, not the microphone. Can I put carried away with my hands? Thou maddest death, and lo, thy foot is on the skull which thou hast made. Thou wilt not have. Realised I didn't have the uh, Yara skirt on the background, so just check that. Thou seemest human and divine, the highest, holiest manhood, thou. I would say highest, holiest manhood. Perfectly described, Mr. Prince Philip, the uh, Ubermensch. 
ubermensch of the royal family. Um, he's masculine. He, he's what the younger generation might describe as sexy, I, I suppose. Um, somebody who has a charisma about him um, that I think continues on even after his his body um, has degraded. Um, although I'm sure that such as his masculinity, it's very hard to believe that a man of his caliber would would uh, perish in the same way um, that a normal human being would do. Uh, so yeah. It's a very long poem, this one. Um, so I'll just read the final bit. Um, needlessly long, really. I hold it true, whatever before. I feel it when I sorrow most. Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Um, no, it's, a, it's a lovely poem, that. Uh, brings a tear to my eye. And of course, it's perfectly normal. Um, I would say normal, healthy, to cry. Cry for the great man. Um, maybe just... I, th I think, to be honest, g given the strain people are under today, I would say... Yeah, you know what? I, I would say it's perfectly acceptable to take your top off, um, put a nappy on, and maybe just maybe just soil yourself because it's difficult. Um, we are stoic. St stiff upper lip is what we usually say. Um, today, take, take a load off. Maybe just put on a nappy. Go to town. Just accept that it's not it's not gonna be a good day. It's we can respectfully can respectfully have a bit of fun. Um maybe go wow 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 like a big baby. Because you know what? That's necessary. That is what we need. We need to celebrate the Aris, of course, as well. Great bit of British motor engineering. Never forget that uh, <laughs> little uh, memory just popped into my head there. Um, never forget when uh, the prince uh, was in Kenya on a trip and a woman presented him with a gift and he said, Are you a woman? Uh, <laughs> that was this kind, that was the kind of wit he had. This man, he had a, a lot of wit. Um, <sighs> it's actually it's actually quite hard for me to keep going. Uh, I've got uh, tears in my eyes, and uh, you know, I could go for a plowman's right now. I, I I'd love a plowman's. Would I? Uh, you know, it's. Uh, some people say they lo lose the appetite when uh, they're going through grief. And certainly, it's. Uh, I feel I, sh I, sh I feel I should feel like that, but I don't. I want to indulge myself in a embarrassing way in a large plowman's lunch. Maybe with my friend Calvin Knox. Um, you know, we've we've not always we don't always hit it off. We we we. We've had our disagreements. Uh, ultimately, there's a passion about our uh, personalities that uh, leads us to uh, ultimately putting that to one side and having a bit of fun together, you know. Good to see that uh, Keir Starmer, the, uh, quite frankly, um, I think he's doing a decent job. I wouldn't vote for him, of course. Uh, I'm definitely not going to vote for him or anybody uh, the old fool has uh, been associated with. Of course, they're, they're scum. They need to be uh, 
But you know what? He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job in spite of all that. And his statement, the United Kingdom has lost an extraordinary, agree with the word extraordinary, public servant in Prince Philip. Prince Philip dedicated his life to our country from a distinguished career in the Royal Navy. Well pointed out, people do forget that he was in the Royal Navy and he did some great stuff. He did really fine work in the Royal Navy. Sorry, not the microphone. Okay, my hands are animated in a way um, that is unfamiliar to me because I've just worked up about this stuff that's going on. Anyway, during the Second World War, uh, to his decades of service as the Duke of Edinburgh, as I say, the behemoth that was the Duke of Edinburgh, the mighty man, travelling the country, uh, opening a wimpy bar. I think we all remember him opening the uh, wimpy bar. We all remember that one, the opening wimpy bar. Um, open of fatty arbuckles, I believe, once. And of course, uh, he opened the Showcase Cinema at Hengrove in Bristol. Um, just just a few other things that off the top of my head I've remembered that he did. But his work extends beyond that and is quite fantastic, I would say. A little jazzy tune for the maestro himself, the magician, the king. Let's call him a king. I think re retrospectively, he was the king because he was, everybody knows his work was great. Um, he was worth every penny. Um, I'll say that much. And yeah, I, he was sexy. He had a, a raw charisma, sex appeal. Um, I mean, they're a sexy couple. Got a little comment here from Jeremy Vine. I can see that a number of people on here don't like, maybe even loathe the British royal family. Too right, Vine. I have to deal with these idiots all the time. They're going, oh, maybe, maybe you don't like... I don't know what point I was going to make. I got carried away reading the rest of Vine's message. Excuse me for that. But surely this is the very last day you should be saying it. Save your anger for another time. Agreed. Um, I mean, we're, this is going to be eight days. This We're going for eight days of mourning. Um, I think we should blow up... Um, Realise then I might be inciting terrorism. Um, so I'm not going to say that. Blow up balloons. We should be blowing up balloons. Installing Mr. Prince Philip in a mausoleum. Giant mausoleum like, like Lenin. Um, perhaps with Captain Tom nearby. Uh, or maybe, how about this? Just a little, just a little thought. Um, why not carve his face, his hero face into the white cliffs that most british of symbols white cliffs of dover just a thought seems respectful maybe that's what we should be aspiring to as a nation just a thought so i just want to say thank you thank you mate thank you for all you've done uh keeping the queen company Opening that wimpy bar in uh, in Limehouse in the 80s. Doing great stuff. Great work. Thanks, mate. And that's me over and out. Mr. Ted Tritton.